This is a skin condition you may not have heard of, but you've probably seen. It is called vitiligo, made famous because Michael Jackson had it. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to tell us about an amazing new treatment for this disease. Doctor. Yeah, Maurice and Christine, vitiligo is a condition where white patches develop on the skin. It's caused when the pigment cells in the skin die off, probably due to autoimmune disease. It isn't life-threatening, but it is disfiguring, especially for African Americans and other dark-skinned people. When all else fails, how about a cell transplant? followed Michael Jackson's career, easily noticed how his skin tone became much lighter over the years. It don't matter if you're black or white. He had an all-over type of vitiligo, and rather than appear splotchy, Jackson opted to bleach the rest of his skin to match his pale vitiligo patches. If somebody would look at me, or if other strangers would look at me, I would hide my face with covering my hand. Caitlin Bertrand has a slightly different type of vitiligo that started in third grade. The splotches around her eye affected her psychologically. I thought I was ugly when I had it on my face, and I would cry and I would say, why, why did this happen to me? I'm not pretty. She didn't like to go outside. She liked to stay in the house. Basically, she didn't really want contact with anybody. Today, you can hardly notice Caitlin had vitiligo. What made the transformation is this. Cells that do make pigment are actually transplanted into the white patches. 80% of patients will see a, a very, very good response. Maybe 15% have a partial response. Here's how it's done. Dr. Milgram first takes a small patch of normal pigment in skin. In Shamira Watson's case, from behind her ear. In his lab, Milgram extracts the pigment-forming cells called melanocytes. He then lasers the vitiligo treatment patch under which he applies a solution containing the melanocytes. We do an area about as big as a credit card at a time and we see what the response is and then we take it from there. It takes a few months for the cells to start producing pigment, but as you can see, the results are remarkable. For Caitlin, it's transformed her personality. More confident when it comes to like going outside, talking to people. I'm not as shy as I used to be. Now these cell transplants are for patients with stable vitiligo that's not spreading and in whom other treatments have failed. The cost is $500 to $1,000 depending on the area and it can take several treatments which are not yet covered by insurance because the technique is very new. But as you can see, it can really it's give amazing. a person back to the The transformation, her life is amazing. just, right, changed. A high school kid who looked like that. And people think that it's contagious, which it's not. No. But, you know, they see something like that and people right. want to stay away. Kids are mean. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Doctor. Nice. You bet. All right.